Good morning, everybody. We are starting our day at Cherokee Park, where we are going to be walking with compassion for the homeless. And uh, we're going to start right here with this marvelous group of pups. Look at these matching in every way, five of them. These are Boykin Spaniels. Oh, Boykin Spaniels. Yes, How the interesting. Guys, the big guy's a mix. He's got a little bit of lab and gold and, and Brittany in him. He's but. adorable. They all are just beautiful. Look at that. Can you tell me their names? Um, yeah, my big guy here is Hank. Yeah. And then this little girl is Lucy. Yeah. And this is Desmo. He's yeah. 15. Uh huh. Going strong. Uh huh. Little Murphy down here. And here's my supermodel Gracie. Oh, I have a Gracie too. Good for you. Thank you for coming this morning. Will you be walking with us? Um, we. He won't be able to make it all the way around. He's like I guess it is. I've got he one too. Bad, he, so he looks fantastic. He just wanted to come out. And Thank you. Thank you for being here with us this morning. So this is a nice crew. It looks like we've already got uh, folks started and oh man, it's going to be nice to have uh, a bunch of people out here doing this. Uh, walking with compassion for the homeless. What does that mean? Well, it means that with all the stuff that's been happening recently, um, fed with faith, up for women and children, and uh, my dog eats first and the forgotten Louisville have all pulled together with uh, thanks to Bethany um, Buster's Paws Pet Care and Feeder Supply. We appreciate them so much. They're on site right here uh, doing what they can do to help with the problem that we are all experiencing right now and that is the crisis of homelessness. We got a brand new little doodle in the house because obviously with Paws Pet Care being a sponsor we have a whole lot of people with puppies here. Yes we do you little cutie pie. You little cutie pie. You are so precious. What's its name? Bentley. Bentley. What a dolly. How old is Bentley? Four months. Well, Bentley, we're so glad you're walking with us today. Thank you so much. So, good morning. So, ladies, tell us tell us about your uh, your walk this morning. I'm dying to hear about it. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> we came up with this plan to do this, um, just to raise money for all the organizations and the homeless. Um, outreach programs in the area. Awesome. And so anyway, it's just a big um, gathering. Just it's a bring big your gathering. dog and walk. That's simple. Bring your dog and walk. There's Wendy Manganaro. Hi. Say good morning, Wendy. Good morning. To all How your faithful you? followers. We're so excited to be here this morning. Where's the puppies? I couldn't handle all of them at I once. Understand. See, both my hands are taken. I, I see. I see. <laughs> But we're here. That's the yes. most important thing. Good morning. How are you? Are you excited about being a part of this wonderful I event? Am. What's Absolutely. your name? My name is Kara. And who do you work with primarily? I actually work for Prudential Heating and Air here, sponsoring Harbor There you House, go. Good for you. Volunteering today to help out anyway. I, I love can. it. Thank you, Kara. Absolutely. That's wonderful of you. We got more puppies. Look at this big dude here. What is this guy's name? Foster. Hi, Foster. How you doing? Oh, look, he sits down. He thinks I've got a treat. <laughs> this is not a treat, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. I'm a terrible mommy. I am so sorry. Glad you guys are here. Good morning, Meg. How are you? We're supposed to get something to... Well, why don't you come here and tell me... If you've already registered, if you've already registered, you go to one of these tables, depending on your last name. Okay. There's A through H there. And it's then Fisher. There. Stone. Fisher. Stone. stone. You go by Stone. stone. Fisher Stone. <laughs> but if you went by Fisher, you'd get in line earlier. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Tell me why you're here today, Meg. You I'm and I spent the morning doing the uh, street count together, and I love you. Yes, I love you too, and I'm here to support. Uh, the uh, people of Louisville and uh, and those with their animals. Outstanding. So I was supposed to bring my grand dog, but my daughter didn't answer this morning, and I wanted to show him off. Can you imagine me trying away. to wrangle my puppies with both my I wondered if you were going to have any of yours. Well, I was going to walk some of yours. God love you. I would appreciate that so much. Thanks for being here. We appreciate you. Hey, Micah, how you doing? All right, so we have uh, Maria Miles down here. Patty Miles said, find me Maria Miles. So who's Patty Miles? Patty Miles says, find me Maria Miles. Hey, Patty. <laughs> How exciting Patty. is that? Hi, Tiny. Hi, Patty. <laughs> well, what about me? Hi, Tara. <laughs> How are you, baby? Good to see you. All right. All right. Why are we here today, Maria? We're here to uh, help the homeless. And in what way are we helping them? Why are we walking with compassion? We are trying to raise awareness and raise a few funds for 
these four organizations that do a lot every day in the community trying to help the homeless. Fantastic. Show me that t-shirt. It's beautiful. Let's see it. Oh, that's so nice. And I want to see this t-shirt too. Tiny's got it. And it is beautiful in loving memory of your beautiful husband, Todd Markwell, for the Forgotten Louisville. And how can we obtain one of these shirts, dear? You can come to the table today. Yes, good one. idea. Or hit me up on Facebook and I'll get you one. You don't even have to be in the walk to come up and buy t-shirts. No, you don't. Because all this money is supporting our wonderful nonprofits. Good morning. How are you guys? How is everybody? Happy? Ready to walk? Ready to rock and roll? I love it. This is awesome. What a great crowd. Hi, good morning, Marilyn. Good Hi, morning. good morning, Beth. One of the wonderful, here, get over here in this picture. <laughs> One of the wonderful supporters of this incredible walk, uh, Beth Buster, Marilyn McClendon from My Dog Eats First. And I want you guys to tell me about your participation in this fabulous walk with compassion. Well, we are one of the nonprofits that are participating uh, that, that this benefits. Um, we provide pet food supplies, veterinary care, spay neuter services, and a whole slew of other services to the homeless and the underserved with companion animals here in Louisville. Well, and I've seen you at the Low Barrier Shelter getting dogs vetted that normally would not get kind of that kind of veterinary care, which we appreciate so much. And you know, all of you who are working in the in the homeless crisis are also helping the companion animals of the homeless, and that's something that people don't really think about. Talk to me about the, the relationship that individuals experiencing homelessness have with their pets. Well, to a homeless person, a pet really to us is, is the epitome of a therapy animal in every way. They provide um, unconditional love, they provide purpose, uh, they provide something uh, you know to take care of that cares for them in return. And so we really think it's important to foster that um, relationship with the homeless and the underserved that are committed to the health and the wellness of their companion animals because everyone deserves someone to look forward to tomorrow. You guys are amazing. Marilyn, tell me a little bit about what you guys have been doing down at the Low Barrier Shelter because you've been really kicking it. Yep. Yeah, we mostly just go down there every few days to see who needs what. Um, you know, making we're trying to we've make we've gotten a couple of them spayed. We got two cats spayed. Thank I you. I saw that on your page. Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> I've been wanting to get those cats spayed for a while. We've got uh, another one that we need to get vetted for for vaccinations and so forth. So we just check to see what they need, how things are going. Um, we also develop a relationship with the people as well. So we're often helping them with their needs and not just the pets. But I, um, I love that. We yeah, kind of act as a liaison between. Yeah. We act as a liaison between the people that we find with companion animals and these other nonprofits. So we can kind of plug them in. If we meet them first, we can plug them into Up, the Forgotten Louisville, to Fed with Faith, um, the Gratitude House, wherever you know they they need other uh, services. We can help them if we meet them first, and then vice versa. So we we all support one another in this effort. I think that's the most important thing to realize is that you guys are all intertwined, and you know as much about mental health issues and substance use disorder as you do about homelessness and animals because you all have to be able to handle that <laughs> right. to work together. Yeah, it's this is Louisville has a great outreach community because all of the groups work very close together. I I you know, I answer a lot of our uh, messaging and so forth and a woman who's homeless on a certain end so I was able to connect them with some of the services we provided for their dog but I connected them with people who could provide for her as well. Why do so. you do this, Beth? Because I believe in the uh, bond that a person has with their companion animal is very important to their health and their well-being, especially, again, as our mission states, if they're committed to the health and wellness of their animal. Also, um, you know, there's no reason why a person should be separated from a companion animal that they love and they're committed to um, with an already overcrowded shelter system and unnecessary euthanasia and things of that nature because of a financial issue. So, you know, what we are trying to do is to keep people united with their pets that are committed to, to taking care of them and committed to fostering a relationship uh, between, the, between each other. Yeah, I think that's the most important thing. Marilyn, what was your motivation? Um, well, I've worked with animals in rescue for years with the Humane Society, but I always, I felt like I wanted to do more with people 
um, to help people. I don't have much of a family, so I wanted to have some other purpose, and this was perfect uh, to combine my love of animals with wanting to help people. You guys are fantastic. Thank you. Thank I you. appreciate you both so much. We're going to get some other stuff here so everybody can kind of get a feel for what's going on and why people are here this morning. And that's what's, uh, that's what's so nice about this. Up for women and children. This is the first time I've actually gotten to talk to some of these folks. Who's the spokesperson? The one with the dog, maybe? <laughs> How you doing? Come on over here and get in the shot. What's your name? I'm Andrea Scott. Nice to see you. Well, who is this little sweetheart? This is Teddy Einstein. Hi. He goes to up on Fridays oh, with the mental health therapist. That's and awesome. the ladies love well, him. Well, this is the first time I've actually gotten to talk to you about up yes. for women and children. So, and well, we spoke once briefly at Texas Roadhouse. Yeah, but not long enough, and that no. was really loud. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about it. Come on yes. over here. What's your name? This is I'm Amy. Amy. Amy, scoot over here. We are and I'll the tell you what I'm going to do. Brains. I'm going to put. I'm going to put this on your uh, Amy. Hang on to that for just oh. a second. I'm going to put it right in between you two so you can both talk. Okay. Ooh, All right. Work? Tell me about up for women and children. So we are a day shelter, very similar to St. John. So we operate three days a week: Monday, Wednesday, Friday, from nine to one. Um, everything is drop-in services, so they can come in and sign up for a shower, laundry, or case management. And that's really just to speak with them and find out more about what's going on and what we can get them connected to. Um, they can have their mail sent there. We help them with um, obtaining documents so that they can get their ID. That's amazing. Um, and any kind of referrals that we can make to help get them to other programs. And then we bring in other providers. So like Legal Aid comes on site. We have family health centers. They send a nurse practitioner and a mental health therapist. Um, and so we just try and get them connected to as many resources within our space as possible. You know, you think about when we have to go get our driver's licenses, right? We have to get them renewed. Got to go downtown. You got to go someplace where there's an office. You got to stand in line. You got to move to another part of the country. I mean, it's a ridiculous. You guys help that make that so much easier. Yeah. It's something that would overwhelm a lot of people, but somebody who's suffering from, you know, abuse, mental health issues, substance use disorder, homelessness. Yeah, and so it's really hard because, uh, especially within this population, theft is very common, and yes. so a lot of times, I mean, they literally have nothing that they're working with, and so we really do work to help build those pieces, and so for men, they had St. John, they were able to go to St. John, yes, and get help with those documents, um, but women didn't have that place, and so um, I recently was just there and found out that they no longer use the coalition's um, homeless ID as a form of identification and so it was a very long conversation about well what can we do to help ladies who have absolutely nothing so that they can you know have their ID for a job or for housing or any kind of application they want to put in. What do you do for a living? I'm a social worker. What do you do for a living? Well um, managing up for women and children. <laughs> My background's in business. It looks so. like they're about ready to start so thank you both so thank much. You. I'm going to come down to the shelter. Please We'd love to. You. I'd love that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Anytime Tiny and I get together, we start crying. <laughs> At any point, Bethany is going to have to pick up. <laughs> so. I really want to thank everyone for coming out um, for our Promote Compassion Walk. I, I'm amazed, you know, um, a city like ours coming out together to, to make awareness to the people that are less fortunate in our community. It's an important stance, especially most of you have seen the, uh, the headlines in the past month about all I can, all I can say is it's crimes against humanity. Um, to force a specific population based on their economic status, based on their mental health, based on having a substance use disorder, out of a particular area so they're not seen. So they're not seen. And we're here to say, it's here. These people are here, and they need a lot of support, and they need a lot of love. And I'm glad that you're making that stand. 
because that's what this shows that you are willing to stand with others to help others um, I want to thank uh, Ellen and David and Susan uh, for getting this together and, and busting their butt and setting everything up and all the registration and all the guys from the Gratitude House who came out to volunteer early this morning to help set up and set up tables and registration and put out signs. And I love all of you who brought your dogs. Did anybody bring any cats? <laughs> I'm offended. I love cats. Uh, but um, this is an important fundraiser for us and, and all the other organizations. We have Up for Women and Children. Woo! <laughs> Great organization, and uh, they've been doing a fantastic job in our city. Do you guys want to say a few words? Um, well, thanks. <laughs> so we opened in July, um, and we are a day shelter for homeless women, very much like St. John. And so when we first opened our doors, we would have maybe about six women that would come in, and here recently we see up to 50, 60 women and children in any given day. Wow. And so that is within a four-hour time frame, um, and so we are always looking for volunteers. If you ever want to volunteer and give back or come and see more about what we do, um, we're located on South 2nd Street, and we're there Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays from 9 to 1. Excellent. Tiny. <laughs> I'm Tiny with the Forgotten Louisville. We're homeless outreach here in the city. We've been doing it for about 14 years. We're kind of a boots on the ground organization. Um, we go into the homeless encampments under the underpasses. We take food, clothing, um, supplies, basic living supplies, tents, sleeping bags, tarps, much just like what Fed with Faith does on a Sunday. We do it. Our service on a Wednesday night. We always need volunteers as well. On Wednesday night, we have an organized serve down on River Road in the yellow lot. We set up and serve a meal. Volunteers come and pop their trunks and bring donations. You don't need to sign up to do that, to bring donations. You do need to get with Maria Miles right here at this table if you're interested in helping with any of the meal prep for a Wednesday night. Um, and you can find us on Facebook as well. Um, we're always looking for people that want to join our street team and come out with us. We kind of canvas the city as much as we can, depending on volunteers all over the city. We don't just serve in downtown Mobile. We're all over the city just looking for individuals that are sleeping out. Woohoo! <laughs> and I, I have to say, <laughs> I have to say that we wouldn't be here today without the Forgotten Louisville. Uh, they were the springboard for us. Uh, we learned how to serve uh, from the folks at the Forgotten. And uh, we're, we're forever grateful for, for tiny service to the city. I'd like the mayor to see this city. There you go. Uh, my dog eats first. Beth. Hey, we provide <laughs> we provide pet food supplies, uh, veterinary care, spay neuter services, um, some uh, assistance in getting pets registered as emotional support animals for people transitioning from homelessness into housing. Um, and a variety of other resources for the homeless population uh, and the underserved and some underserved in Louisville. And um, we believe that um, everyone deserves someone to help them look forward to tomorrow. And a lot of times that someone is a companion animal. And so uh, we also uh, operate completely on donations as does everyone up here and volunteer efforts. We are also, uh, Springboard from Tiny, fed with faith. She's been my mentor, and um, I love her to death, and also Jean and everyone that's up here. We all work together. We distribute about two to three thousand pounds of pet food per month to homeless popula to our homeless and our underserved um, through these other organizations. So we all work together to try to um, help all of our all of our friends. 
try to say stay intertwined with the other resources in the city because none of us can do it alone we can't do it alone the population is too big and we need everyone's help um, the men that come to the gratitude house typically get 8 to 12 weeks uh, of intensive outpatient at another facility and we cover their rent for them and their food for them and everything else for them while they get well. So if you don't want to see homelessness on our streets, invest in the people that are doing things to change that. We are not government funded. We don't get a dime from the government. We don't get a dime from any of the other services that send us Referrals, Wellsprings, Centerstone, uh, Our Lady of Peace, you know, you name it, they're sending their people to us. And we're going to try to take care of those people, and we're not going to focus on how much can you pay. We're not going to focus on what insurance do you have. We're going to focus on how can we help you get well? How can we help you get to a place where you're functioning? within the Louisville community so you can start to be a person in our community doing great things, functioning better, being reunited with your children, paying your child support, working a job, paying bills. But you gotta start someplace and build resilience. And a lot of people do that at the Gratitude House. We have guys that come right out of tents go straight to detox and come into our facility and we teach them to learn to live again and it's an important venture we also have a day shelter on Mondays from 8 to 12 for the homeless residents in the west end of Louisville that have been marginalized that get no resources because all the resources are 10 blocks of the business district downtown because that's where people see homeless and that's where the focus is. Well, guess what? There's a whole population of homelessness in the West End of Louisville and you don't see them because they're living in abandoned homes. And they get no resources. We've been successful in getting the health department down there to do A and B immunizations and we've been successful in getting the coalition down there with the Phoenix team to do assessments on Monday for the housing vouchers. We want to get people housed. So, I don't want to hold this up. The dogs from the Gratitude House are getting a little restless. So I really want to just thank you all for being here. And God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Woo!
That was pretty awesome, Maria. Good job. Jean, come here and talk to me for a minute. That was awesome. Hi. What, what can people who are not here with you today do directly to help not only the Gratitude House Fed with Faith, the Forgotten Louisville, My Dog Eats First, Up for Women, what can we do in general to help the homeless? Uh, I, I think that, you know, compassion, you know, would be the first thing, uh, you know. Uh, find some place that, that you want to contribute to, you know. Uh, talk about it. You know, show up at your council meetings. I'm sure they're talking about the homeless. You know, figure out what policies that your that your politicians have on it. You know, figure out who you can support in that. You know, with these recent cuts, uh, I'm afraid that the most vulnerable in our city are going to suffer. Because you know, there's going to be a lot of funding programs that affect the homeless next year. Yep. So it's already a, a crisis, you know, so, and, and it's a, the opioid crisis, it's a crisis of mental health, and, and there's been an economic crisis since the recession. Absolutely. So these are the factors that have brought us to this point, not to mention all the foreclosures that it's happened. Thank you for all that you're doing. And we're going to send people your way to your websites and hopefully tomorrow to Bear Grass to help prepare the meal for Fed with Faith. Thanks, Jane. Yeah. Jane Manganaro. Look at these babies. Hi, yeah. Pupsy. How you doing? How are you doing, cutie pie? All right, I need to get two more people because we have to talk. Hi, babies. Hey, before you walk, Miss Tiny, come here a second. I need you. I always need you. Hi. Share. What do you want me to share? How you feel? Um, I feel okay. A little bittersweet? A little bittersweet, yeah. You want me to cry on... <laughs> you don't have to cry on camera, but I just want people to know what you have gone through with the situation of substance use disorder that has brought you to the point of being able to um, really memorialize and honor Todd's memory. Yeah. So I lost my husband in December to um, an accidental overdose. Mm -hmm. um, he had about five years of um, some clean time and um, had a relapse, which we all know relapse is part of recovery. Yep. Um, so in his honor, we had these t-shirts made and any of the uh, profit from these t-shirts go into a special account where we can put people into recovery um, or rehab. So we've been able to put two people through recovery Excellent. Um, with the funds that we've made off of these t-shirts. That is so exciting. Yeah, so whether exciting. you cry or not, that's right. really big to be cheered and smiled yeah. and laughed and yeah. happy about. Good yeah. for you. Go walk. All right. I love you. Thanks. I love you. I'll see yeah. Okay. Take care. Have a good walk. We're gonna go interview Stu. Bye. Up with women. Up, up for women and children. I'll be down to see you. Um. Yeah. This has just been amazing this morning. Fed with faith. Homeless outreach and advocacy. Fed with faith. Kids. Gifting joy to the children of those we serve. And the Gratitude House, Love, Help, and Hope, Transitional Housing for Men in Recovery. One of the major sponsors, uh, the other is the Forgotten Louisville, and they are absolutely tremendous. Um, we appreciate them so much. Up for Women and Children, which is another fantastic group of folks. We appreciate them. Linda Mattingly, Maria Miles, two fabulous volunteers. Thank you so much. We love you. Thank you for being here today. And the wonderful My Dog Eats First, which of course helps the companion of the homeless. Beth Buster, Marilyn McClendon, Leslie Hansford, who often accompanies me on my little trips to get video at uh, some of the homeless camps, which is fantastic. And a beautiful day. Cherokee Park at its best. So glad that we have people who have come out to enjoy the walk and be a part of today. And I'm going to head over to the North End Cafe where I'm about to interview a marvelous filmmaker, director, producer, Stu Pollard. Um, really, really excited about getting a chance to sit down and talk to him and have some breakfast because I'm absolutely starving and uh, look forward to... Hey guys, hey. congratulations on your walk this morning. Your dogs look fantastic. Thank you. Are you guys Gratitude House folks? Yeah. You want to yeah. tell me about the Gratitude House? 
um, grat Gratitude House is the best place I found. I was in a tent. Yep. And I lived in a car. You did. He lived in a car, and then we found Gratitude House, and they're helping us out, and I'm seven months clean and sober. Congratulations, brother. Good job. Yeah, Jane and Wendy, they're saviors. Yeah, they're really pretty fantastic, aren't they? Thank you both. What are your names? My name's Lenny. Lenny? I'm Terry. Hey, this Terry. Ralph and yeah. Bobo. I was just Bobo. about to ask who Ralph and Bobo are. My three dogs couldn't come with me because I didn't have five hands, but, you know, you guys have a good walk, okay? Thank you. All right, we'll see you guys at the North End, and in the meantime, go to the Facebook pages of all of these fantastic homeless outreaches, please, and give support to the Boots on the Ground organizations. See you in about an hour.